Now that we have the SEO checklist module set up and ready to go, let's go to it. Now I'm not going to navigate to it manually every time we have to go back to the SEO checklist module. I'm gonna start using a shortcut that I'll show you in a minute. But just remember, if you need to get there manually, click on configuration, then scroll down to search and metadata, and click SEO checklist, and that takes you right where you need to go. So we're gonna start off with the first tab under getting started, which is be efficient. And as it notes up here, the things it's gonna tell us to do here aren't actually really helpful for SEO, but what they're gonna do is help us be more efficient as we improve the SEO of our site. It just helps us to do things a little bit quicker. First thing, is to install and enable SEO checklist module. Congrats, we've already done that, time to move on. And we're going to install and enable the coffee module in just a minute, but first I want to talk about a couple things farther down here. We see that it tells us to install the composer command line tool, the Drupal console command line tool, and the Drush command line tool. Now, we're not gonna cover these in this tutorial because these are for slightly more advanced users. And chances are, if you're comfortable using these, then you probably already know how to use them. Composer helps you manage dependencies on your site. The Drupal console tool is mostly for things like module development, if you're creating new modules of your own. And Drush is a very helpful Drupal tool that allows you to do a lot of things from the command line, such as install modules, upgrade your Drupal installation, simply by typing in commands. I'm gonna show you in a minute just how helpful Drush is. But again, it's not gonna be required for this tutorial. And if you're not comfortable using the command line, that's perfectly fine. But I do wanna show you, out of all these, I recommend using Drush once you get to a level of comfort where you feel like you can use the command line and it doesn't scare you too badly to do so. So first, let's take a look at the coffee module. You can find this module at drupal.org slash project slash coffee. And this gives us a really fast and neat way to navigate our Drupal 8 site. So go ahead and download this module. You don't have to enable it yet. And as you're doing that, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to install modules or to download modules using Drush. And I should clarify, these things like Drush and the Composer tool and Drupal console, those are not modules. These are strictly command line tools. So here I am in the root directory of my site. I do have Drush installed on this system and I want to download the coffee module. Instead of doing it the typical way or the manual way or any other way, I can type one simple command, drush dl for download, coffee, the name of the module. I'll press enter, boom. That's as fast as it goes, that's as long as it takes, and now we have coffee downloaded onto our site. So once you have coffee downloaded, Go ahead and click on extend and find coffee in your list of modules. Since we have the module filter module installed, we can just type coffee here and it'll pop up. We'll select that and click install. Now we're gonna go back to the SEO checklist, but we're gonna do so at the same time that I demonstrate what the coffee module does exactly. The coffee module allows you to press Alt D and it'll bring up a quick search box and you can type anything in related to the page that you wanna to go to on your site and it'll find it for you, particularly for admin pages. So if we want to go back to the SEO checklist page, instead of going back the normal way, we can type SEO checklist and it'll pop up here. It'll show us the path and we can also just click on this and go directly to it. So coffee not only just gets you places faster, but it also helps you find things faster. Sometimes it gets confusing where things are located exactly in the back end of your Drupal 8 site. So this is very helpful with that. We're gonna go back to our Be Efficient tab. And now it's checked off for us, this install and enable coffee module item. Next it wants us to configure the coffee module. We can click configure, or we can do Alt D, coffee, 
and go straight to the configuration page. These are the different menus that are included in the results that the coffee module gives us when we type things in. For me, I like to keep this strictly to administration. I don't want to be taken to footer links or main navigation pages or anything like that. That's user preference. That's up to you. For me, I like to keep this on administration, so I'm not going to change that. We can change the max results if we want. Maybe we want 10 instead of just seven, for instance. And we'll click save configuration. And then we'll do an alt D and go back to SEO checklist. Now this will not check this off on its own because it doesn't really have a good way of telling whether we've gone there. So we're going to check this off and click save. And next up, it wants us to install and enable the admin toolbar module. So you go ahead and download and install that module. I'm going to go back to the command line and do this via Drush to show you something else that's pretty cool that Drush can do. You can also enable modules via Drush. On top of that, if you try to enable a module that you don't have yet on your site, it will automatically download that module for you and then enable it. So for instance, admin toolbar is what we want. So I will type Drush en for enable admin underscore toolbar press enter it tells us it wasn't found but there is a project page on drupal.org for this would you like to download it yes and then it tells us here that it's going to enable that because that's what we asked for in the first place is that what we want yes that is and now admin toolbar has been enabled on our site once again, you don't have to use Drush. I'm just demonstrating it so you can see how helpful it is, especially when you need to install a bunch of modules. Of course, if you're not using Drush, you'll just go to extend and enable admin toolbar that way. I'm going to refresh this page. And now, once you've enabled admin toolbar, look what happens when you hover over certain admin menu items like structure. We get very helpful drop-down menus. Same for configuration, reports. It can, you can tell which of these are going to provide drop-down menus because they're the ones that are slightly gray background. This may be hard to make out for some people, but configuration, reports, structure, and content, these all have drop-down menus now. So if we don't want to use coffee for whatever reason, and we want to go to a certain place on our website, we can go to configuration and then scroll down and find whatever we're looking for. Maybe we're going to back to the SEO checklist, for instance, and we can go straight there instead of clicking configuration, then scrolling down to search and metadata, looking for SEO checklist, then clicking on that. This just saves us time. Notice it tells us that SEO checklist has found one unchecked item that's been completed and it's checked it for us. Of course, that is the admin toolbar module. And that's all we're going to cover for be efficient. Again, feel free to play around and do some research on Composer tools, Drupal Console, and Drush, especially Drush. But even without Drush, with Coffee and Admin Toolbar enabled, we're going to be able to get around our site much faster as we go through the rest of these steps.